None of these statements have been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any diseases. Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome to The Deets, where we dive into the details of Sizzle's product lineups. Enjoy! Hi everyone, welcome to The Deets, our very first episode where we're going to be diving into the details of Facoidin today. Um, So this is our very first time recording this, a little bit of background. Um, For me personally, I've worked my way up through the company all the way from maintenance where I was pulling weeds and painting rooms into the call center where I've spoken to many of our current distributors and to where I'm now where I'm running all of operations. And so, you know, coming into this and with the supply chain nowadays, we thought it would be an important task for us to help inform, update, and educate on really what makes our product lineup unique um, because they are unique in so many different ways, including the formulation. And so, you know, for our very first episode, we thought it would be important to bring our head formulator, my father, uh, Tom Mauer Jr. So, Dad, you want to give a little bit about your background? Well, um, I think you've cleared the first part up, and that is I am your father. <laughs> and so if things don't go well, you'll be pulling weeds again. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, it's great to be on here, you know, the uh, inaugural uh, launch of the DEETS, uh, getting into the details and getting into the weeds about what makes Sizzle different and uh, talk a little bit about that. And so, obviously, uh, I've been around for quite a while, and and I worked my way up through the company over many decades and uh, went to school and uh, earned my degrees in biology and chemistry and, and uh, you know, have been very motivated. Everything starts with a passion. And everything uh, that's successful is has passionate people behind it. And we see that in the distributor field. We see it in our own family. And we see it out throughout the world. And uh, so it's great to be here today and for your first podcast and talk about some exciting things. Yeah, you know, and one thing that I've really enjoyed growing up with you is, you know, our long drives. We'd go out of state. We'd work. We'd be up on the family ranch and farm. and your education and uh, it's one of the things I've looked forward to the most growing up is just talking to you and gaining your knowledge and getting a lot of your experience and and really internalizing a lot of that and so you know with this I really want to know and I think a lot of people want to know really do you have a process or what is your process when you come up with a formulation um, or you know research or what is it that runs through your head or how do you work it through from a concept to a finished product well, a lot of times uh, it can come from different things, but usually it's based upon a need. And fulfilling needs are where success are found, both in uh, helping people with uh, health issues, helping them with financial issues. And so you find a need and and you identify these things throughout life. I've seen, you know, uh, uh, great products that have not been successful in our company and others because they didn't really feel a need that people are looking for. Uh, and then also you have those in the back of your mind that maybe I won't have the answer tomorrow and maybe I won't have it next year. And so, but you know that there's a need and a desire out there. And then also is market opportunity. I mean, you'll see studies that come out and you'll see that the market's trending one way or another uh, and, and issues become, you know, very focused upon. Obviously, uh, the one we just went through was weight loss every year. January 1st, weight loss is a great product. So when I have a process, I'm always open to any idea. All ideas ideas are great, but then I try and fulfill a need in weight loss or hair growth or uh, anti-aging. And so as I come across dynamic uh, science uh, and putting the puzzle pieces together, then I I incorporate that into a product and uh, hopefully the price points and uh, the benefits are there and and the, the success follows once people become passionate about that product. Okay, so really quick question, kind of off script. How many formulas or how many products do you think you formulated over 30 some odd years? Oh, I, was, I thought you were going to ask me who's my favorite child. <laughs> okay, I didn't want that out there. Um, <laughs> how many products have I formulated? Well, I can tell you what, thousands over the years. I've, I've had 
a few hundred that have come to market, but I have had many, many failures, uh, everything from, you know, uh, separations to stability to not right for the market at the time, but uh, everything from industrial chemicals to animal products uh, to personal care. But one thing about it, even a failure is a learning experience of the flavor wasn't right. The timing wasn't right. It wasn't the right for the right demographic. We find differences in Japan uh, versus America. And uh, so it's all been a learning process, but I've made thousands of products over the years. I know. We get in the boardroom and you literally make all of our minds explode when you start talking about formulas and ingredients and new research. And it's uh, it's humbling to be in your presence when you talk about that, Dad, really. Um, I want to talk about our probably our biggest success here at Sizzle, um, which is Fucoidin, you know, spell F-U-C-O-Y-D-O-N. Uh, if people are doing their research at home and they want to Google the, the ingredient, it's F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N. That was our own little marketing spin on it. So what can you, uh, what can you tell us about, about Fucoidin? What is it and uh, where can we find it? Well, it's found all over the world in brown seaweed. Uh, but the very best and the patented product that we have is found only at Sizzle. That's a Sizzle-only formulation. And uh, a, maybe a real quick rundown on the history of Fucoidin. Uh, going back to the 1980s, my father, Tom Maurer Sr., he, uh, we were uh, looking at studies. This is before the internet. I mean, we were writing letters, doing phone calls, and he actually went to China and uh, some of the anti-aging formulations that were thousands of years old described angel hair and how r miraculous that was. And they had their own studies on it, but nobody knew what angel hair was. It wasn't up until probably 15, 20 years later doing more research, we realized that uh, that's what seaweed is. And they were consuming seaweed. And you know how if you look at an underwater camera in the ocean, you see the seaweed growing from the bottom. It's flowing back and forth. And that really came out to be, and there were many different products that we found uh, that um, had different names that were hard to decipher. But one thing about it, the ancients in China said that People were more productive. People live longer. Animals live longer. And they were meticulous in their studies that they did. Well, uh, probably 20 years ago, we started formulating with this product uh, prior to Sizzle to, uh, to find out more about it, how to make it stable, uh, you know, what, where's the best source of this material? There's over 40 different types of brown seaweed. And the science was just coming out about what the active molecule in that was. And that is the fucoidin molecule that is found within the seaweed. Since that time, they've actually broke that down into different types of fucoidin molecules that have small little differences between each one. And that, that's the beauty of it. We think about thousands of years ago, it was called angel's hair, and they just knew that people lived longer consuming it, and they had better health consuming it. Well, as things go further down the road and science gets better and, and we have better techniques and better methodologies, we can identify the exact molecules and what they do. Uh, it's like uh, CBD that we launched here a couple of years ago. When I got in, involved with that, it was CBD. Well, now we know there's over 100 different types of CBD, and we know CBG is great for skin. We know CBN is great for sleep, and we're starting to determine that. Same is true with Fucoidin. So going back 20 years ago and uh, you know, getting uh, all the available science out there and samples, we determined that the one that had the most broad spectrum and the different forms of fucoidin at that time, which were there were three, and you'll see those identified as U, F, and G, but now there's about six of those. Tonga had the most pristine waters where it was grown, so we're not worried about more contaminants in the ocean, but also it had the, the biggest uh, variety of those fucoidin molecules where people could see uh, the, the, the greatest effects of that. Huh, yeah, so a lot of people, I've been asked that one, especially when I was in the call center, what does the U, F, and G stand for? 
And, you know, preparing for this, I did a little bit of research, and it stands for euphacoidin, f phacoidin, and g phacoidin, the different molecules. And so, you know, why – so you explained that they're all important, um, but what, what made you think that this was going to be a hit? What, re- what really was the, the true function of this product? Was it longevity? Was it overall health? Uh, what was the overall intent of phacoidin? Well, one thing about Sizzle, we're not just a company that's looking to go public. I mean, our family business is set up in a dynasty trust for a thousand years is to go on. If you're looking for longevity in anything, results are everything. And so uh, with Fucoidin, what was the big motivation uh, are, was what science had shown. They had done, dem- they have done demographic studies, uh, populations in Japan that left Japan after the 1940s and moved to South America. Uh, they had the same genetics, and they found that those who moved away from the traditional diet consuming brown seedweed did not, not live as long or experience the same health benefits as their a family who stayed in Japan. And as they narrowed that down, they found out that the brown seaweed uh, they were consuming uh, was the culprit, or should we say actually the blessing in disguise that was giving them superior health. Because it is adaptogenic. It affects not just one thing in our body, but multiple things. So Fucoidin, why we brought that out is because, and I don't believe in silver bullets, one thing does everything. But if there was one thing that did more things uh, to benefit the quality of our health and life, it is fucoidin. That's interesting. Yeah, and uh, we talk a lot about history and ancients consuming it. But, you know, in a lot of ways, especially at our manufacturing, we've really modernized the way that we're able to consume it and extract it. Um, You know, you guys came across some sulfonation studies that they had done. you know, we have a patented process. This isn't just some generic phacoidin that you're going to buy. This is a truly unique formula that only Sizzle is the only one ever going to have it because of our patent. Can you explain a little bit of that pro- manufacturing process and the sulfonation and why that's important? Well, naturally, uh, sulfur will bind to phacoidin in the ocean. But the problem is it's not consistent. Uh, sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. But uh, as science had determined, the most effective fucoid molecules had the highest degree of sulfur attached to them. And so, uh, yeah, we have modernized the plant. We started from scratch. But also we had to do unique things because we had a patent. It wasn't the, the process was not just out there on how to hydrolyze this, how to add sulfur to it to make it very bioavailable. And so we had to uh, spend millions of dollars because we were creating an ingredient uh, just for us. And so um, by doing so, we obviously came out with a fucoid molecule that was very diverse uh, but also highly biologically available. And, and what you do find is that science uh, is funded by money, and money is given to uh, studies that uh, perform and show results, and, and you'll see a lot of that. Uh, if you really investigate Fucoidin, that is where the science is going. Well, how many how many studies were there roughly? Do you think when you started on this? Because when I was doing my research, there's over three thousand studies now and counting. As a matter of fact, the most recent one was published three days ago on the sulfonation of polysaccharides in brown seaweed. How many studies were there when you started on this? Because it was relatively new, wasn't it? It was. I mean, yes and no. I mean, it was it was consumed for thousands of years, and the Chinese actually did the first few studies on that and recorded those thousands of years ago. But when we started uh, over 20 years ago, and it still was impressive, there were a few, maybe two or three hundred studies. And you compare that with a lot of these super juice uh, products, then that was kind of the the, the thing in the 90s, everybody needed a juice type product or a liquid product, and you see what type of monies have been put into the acai's and the mangosteens and the nonis and the trace minerals. Uh, they have flattened out, and there's dozens to a few hundred 
or a couple hundred in some cases. But over the 20 years with Fucoidin, I've seen it go from 150, 200 to, like you just say, over 3,000. And the money, the millions of dollars is put into research because Fucoidin works. And they want to dissect it and figure out how to make it work better. And that's where the money goes. I've seen it tested for, you know, uh, HIV and immune system and cholesterol and uh, anti-cancer. And, and they keep pouring the money into it because they have, it has such a dynamic effect on our overall health. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I get 100% where they're going with it. They're obviously going to put their money in where they're seeing results and continue research and further it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I honestly, I consume it every single day. And I consider it the king of juices, but in your eyes, what honestly makes it the king of all juices? Because we've seen a lot of product companies, like you said, come and go, and they all have their juice, but they end up falling flat, or they go public, and then doesn't retain really what the sizzle's been around for 12 years, and Fucoidin has been our constant number one. Matter of fact, I've heard you say it in literally hundreds of meetings this is such a good product that even if we don't talk about it, we could kill it and it still wouldn't go away and sales continue to climb every single month in this for the past 12 years. Bigger runs, more Fucoidin made, more and more more and more and sales, and people are literally building a foundation and building an entire business and an empire on this one juice. So what makes it such a king? What makes it king of the hill of all juices? Because like we talked about earlier, it fulfills a need and that people who are desiring better health, they experience that. They've tried the other things out there and and it is not just a juice. It is a a solid fucoidin molecule that is suspended in liquid. It's not just squeezing an acai or a noni plant and taking that extract. This is a very active molecule. We put it in liquid. That way it's easier to absorb and breaks down quicker and gets in your digestive system uh, quicker that way. Um, but it outcompetes everything when it comes to results. And, and Fucoidin itself uh, could be its own company. Uh, and, and people uh, would do very well both in health and wealth and financial freedom just with that one product. Yeah, and we use it in a lot of different ways. When I mean, we just barely came out with our sizzle thin, and it has fucoxanthin in it, which comes from the same molecule, right? Well, not the same or molecule, similar. same plant. Same exactly. Plant. Brown seaweed, and that's another fraction, and science is going into that now with fucoxanthin to show that it's thermogenic and it actually enhances weight loss. Mm-hmm. And so that was a, uh, a missing piece of the puzzle that I needed for our weight loss product for the last few years. And when that came out, that made the perfect complement to make the world's most effective weight loss product, the sizzle thin. Oh, people are going nuts for it, literally. We can we have a hard time keeping it on the shelf because of its sells. Um, so why, why do we put it in a juice? Why don't we put it in a powder or a capsule or a cream or some other different delivery method? Surely there's other ways that you can consume it. Why do we choose a juice? Uh, with that one, because it keeps it suspended and uh, it's quicker to absorb in a juice. Some things I would prefer in a solid if I'm trying to get through a digestive system quicker. But that one, uh, because we uh, increase the bi- the biological activity with sulfur, it's in a liquid form. And then when we consume it, there's nothing that needs to break down. It can be highly absorbable that way. So, And we, have a, we obviously have our triangle of life, right, our three juices. How does Fucoidin fit into that triangle of life with Eternity and Spectrumax? I mean, it's a totally different, unique product. How does it How does it stand alone? What makes it unique beyond the other two? When you're looking for total health, you're looking for products that promote longevity, uh, products that protect, remove free radicals from our system. Some studies show up to 97% of disease is because of free radical damage. And then we're looking for things that promote, not just protect, but also promote longevity and better health. And so within these three products, Spectrumax, you're uh, giving a wide spectrum of over 40 different antioxidants. I mean, there we do have acai and mangosteen and some of these things that you see in other juices in that product. 
and it's a really overbuilt product, but it will neutralize more free radicals than anything else out there. Mm -hmm. So we take that to neutrify and to protect. Um, Eternity, we have resveratrol in that, and it's in liquid form because it is highly absorbable in the mouth. It's highly metabolized in the liver. So when you see most products out there with resveratrol are uh, in capsule and tablet form, they go to the gut, and they're it. They're about um, well, liquid is three hundred percent more bioavailable than solid dose form in resveratrol, and then the Harvard studies, what Dr. Sinclair has shown us with that, with uh, turning on the sirtuin gene uh, that promotes longevity and more youthful hormones and everything. We have that product, and then uh, Fucoidin is adaptogenic. It does many things, and it's overlap in these areas, but it also affects many more organs of our body for total health. Hmm. Man, there's so much research being done constantly on it and progressing. It's, it's amazing that we're able to stay ahead of the times, especially since you started this over 20 years ago, this project, and it's been through and through our number one seller, our number one product. Um, I just want to end on this and say I hope everybody listening to this understands how and why I love sitting in the truck driving all over the western United States with my dad because he is so knowledgeable. Tom Jr. is a very knowledgeable person. We're extremely blessed with his experience here at Sizzle. We're extremely blessed to have his mind and formulations and knowledge and power and uh, you can see why we are gaining so much ground, especially in this industry, and why our products are so revolutionary, because we're not just, you know, looking at, we talked about the ingredients, we talked about the research, but we also talked about the different delivery methods and the actual science behind them. There's so much, there's so many details that go into every single one of our products. And I just want to thank you for coming on to our first episode here. We're going to have so many more. We're going to dive into RIP. We're going to dive into the other Triangle products. And we're going to go, we're going to dive into every aspect that makes our Sizzle products great. And Dad, do you want to say anything else before we close it out? Well, I'll tell you what, the best is yet to come because the Mauer mission continues. And uh, you and your brother Caden now, uh, you're involved with the business and Another 20, 30 years, it'll be <laughs> you sitting in this chair and, and one of your kids sitting in the other chair. Caden will be grilling you on some <laughs> hot topic, but uh, it continues on. Sizzle is, you know, without end. It uh, goes on and on and on, and the best is yet to come. So um, glad to be on your first podcast. Well, thanks, Dad, for being on. I hope that everybody joins in next week where we're going to dive into the deets all about uh, eternity, and the week after that, we're going to go into more detail, but we're going to specifically dive into resveratrol and the unique factors that make our eternity so bioavailable, and it's going to be an incredible show. We're going to keep going every single week, so tune in and enjoy. Enjoy.